So three months ago, I put up a poll. The poll was only able to be seen and answered by people who have lived and worked in the US all of their lives, then retired to the Caribbean islands. Today on Password Kings, I'm going to give you the top 10 Caribbean islands to retire to. Plus, I'll share a few comments that was left about each of these tropical paradises. Engage. My name is Rock Land. I'm a travel advisor. I make Passport Kings travel videos to inform, review, and excite you about vacation destinations and other travel related information. If this is a topic you like, consider subscribing to Passport Kings and ring the bell so you can be the first thing to know when I upload new content. Number 10, Granada. After working nonstop for 20 to 40 years, people want a completely different environment when they retire. The estimated cost of living is about 1600 bucks according to expatistan.com. Granada is very close to the perfect mix of affordability and safety. Granada has miles and miles of breathtaking beaches. One retiree said the biggest challenge that he's seen for most retirees that come down to live is isolation. He says the solution for that is to meditate, go for walks, learn a new language, write, have dinner with friends, or do adventures that the tourists usually do like Tri Island Chocolate Factory and Belmont Estates. Number nine, St. Lucia. St. Lucia's real estate market has some tremendous opportunities. There is no restriction on foreign buyers acquiring real estate in St. Lucia. Single family homes can be bought at around 160K. And if you're really a baller, villas and high end resorts where many live could cost you in the millions. Each US dollar is about 2.65 Eastern Caribbean dollars. Tennis, cricket, and football are what most people spend most of their day doing in St. Lucia. St. Lucia is absolutely beautiful and has the only drive-in volcano in the world. You'll also have access to beaches, waterfalls, mineral baths, nature trails, and an awesome nightlife. Number eight, Antigua. Be ready to eat a lot of fungi, saltfish, ducana, sugar cake, and pepper pot. Barbuda, Antigua's little sister island, had 90% of property damage when Hurricane Irma hit in September of 2017. Almost all of Barbuda's residents moved to Antigua and a lot of them just stayed. To live comfortably in Antigua will cost you about $1,500 to $2,000 a month. A lot of videos about Antigua on the net will only show you hotels instead of the actual living quarters. A great idea would be to book your trip to Antigua later this year. And of course, use PassportKings.com using the link above to book your trip. While there, take a guided tour through St. John's and check out all the beauty you'll be getting yourself into. Number seven, Belize. The cost of living in Belize is about $16.50 a month. One very important thing to consider when moving to any island is island safety. Amber Gris K Belize wins in every single category like cost of living when it comes to this great place to retire. Except for one, crime. There's no point of living in paradise if you have to keep yourself surrounded by large walls and barbed wire. According to travel.state.gov, the advisory is yellow, which means exercise increased caution. Yellow alert is not anywhere close to the worst warning that an island can get. Actually, I hate to even report it because there's always someone who lives in a super dangerous city in the US, but will use a travel advisory to badmouth an island. Most times, they will have a much better chance of survival on the island. Belize has great safe parts and not so safe parts. A great idea when you visit is to see if the houses have bars on the windows. Number six, the Commonwealth of Dominica. Dominica is really beautiful, but like Barbuda, Dominica is also recovering from hurricanes from two years ago. If you enjoy nature, hiking, lakes, rivers, waterfalls, scuba diving, and partying, then Dominica is the place for you. There are lots of big beach reggae parties, and it has 365 rivers, waterfalls, and rainforests with some of the highest mountains in the Caribbean. The cost of living for a single person is close to $700 a month, excluding rent. Now make sure you stay to the end of the video so you can download my free ebook called Make Money Online so you can travel more. And if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button. Number five. Well, before I get to number five, I wanna give an honorable mention. This is one you may have not considered to retire. Key West, Florida. As you know, Key West is still in the States, 
but it is so far south from Florida that it enjoys all the benefits you will get from moving to the islands but without any of the hassles. If you are one of the people who are unable to get a passport, retiring to an island in paradise is not impossible. A little trip right across the highway that connects the islands will have you back in mainland Florida within a reasonable amount of time. You also get all the medical facilities, shops, and amenities of a U.S. state. It may be boring to talk about, but it's a great option. Number five, the Dominican Republic. I had the pleasure of talking to a fellow YouTuber, Taylor Made Dreams, right before he retired to the DR. I remember one quote he said that really stood out. He was very happy that he knew that just being a visitor was coming to an end. When I asked him what do he think he would be benefiting the most, he said while down there, he finally started to feel happiness again. The last time I spoke to him, he owns a home in Sasua, so he can tell you everything there is to know about retiring in the Dominican Republic. Number four, Barbados. Being happy but also safe on an island for the rest of your life can be done all over the Caribbean these days, but it's especially true in Barbados. This is really a gold mine when you take the cost of living into consideration. But on the other hand, Barbados can be pretty expensive. The cost of living hovers around 4,000 per person. On other islands, you could support a family of four on this type of money. But if your retirement nest egg can afford it, it's a much better deal than spending $4,000 a month in the States. The crop over celebration is also legendary. Number three, Jamaica. The first time you hear Jamaica talk, you're gonna be like, ain't no possible way that's a real language. But after being around them for a little while, you'll start to pick up patois pretty quickly. Communicating your wants and needs when first going to settle in in a new island is far more important than anyone thinks. Patois is English based, so communication will be fine. One retiree who is finding it very easy to integrate into Jamaica said, the food can be described as unbelievably good. And just visiting Jamaica will add a few years to your life. I happen to agree. I have two videos about my visits to Jamaica that I'm linking above. Go watch those next. Number two, Trinidad and Tobago. One responder said the food may just be better than Jamaica. Trinidad is an English speaking island, nice hospitals, stores, bilingual schools, and great beaches. I've noticed that most of the people who get my free ebook called Make Money Online So You Can Travel More, that you can download for free just by joining my mailing list, say that they were more interested in hearing about how to make money and travel more so they could get to Trinidad and Tobago. The carnival here is almost as famous as the one in Brazil. The cost of living in Trinidad is $985, excluding your rent, of course. And the average home is about $130,000. These islands would have been number one if not for number one, Panama. Technically, some won't consider this the Caribbean, and some will point out that it's not even an island, but a part of Central America. Panama has a Pacific side and it also has a Caribbean side. And on that side is Isla Colón. This is the ultimate paradise when deciding what to do with your 401k that you saved your whole life. Your savings will go a long way. Living on this island of the Bocas del Toro province will be about 400,000. But consider that that amount will get you a 3,000 to 4,000 square feet duplex right on the Caribbean Sea and give you a postcard looking view. You could go cheap and get an apartment between 200 and 249,000, but even that will put you in a high rise with a floor to ceiling window with breathtaking views, especially if you get a high floor. The only other thing you might need is a boat. I got so many comments about this island that I decided to book a trip there for next year so I could see what all the hype was about. Now my team and I would love to meet you in Atlanta at 7 p.m. We wanna properly introduce you to planet marketing and IntelliTravel. We work from home full-time and some even part-time after their day jobs in the travel industry. Use the info on this flyer to attend. There is no pressure and exactly 60 minutes of powerful info. And trust me, it's a no-brainer. If you're not in Atlanta, chances are we have live presentations in a city near you, so contact me. Now, are you going to retire to one of the islands when you finish working? Tell me your plans in the comment section below. I love reading that. And check out the entire playlist that I have dedicated to all the islands here. So when you go to plant your final flag, you already have all the intel like a king. A passport. <laughs> Peace.